M0 FXB, the new Anytone 890 UV can do NXDN. I'm going to show you the settings on PiStar and within the code plug and on the radio. In the description, I'll link in the video where I installed the firmware that you need uh, to make this work, which is version 1.03, and it's fully working. I've tested it. I've had some nice chats on NXDN, and the, the unusual thing is one of the guys was on was on um, D Star, you know, was on a uh, Icon radio. That, that also does NXDN, so interesting. And uh, so anyway, let's just dive in here. So it took me a while to get my head around the different settings. So um, if you haven't got an NXDN number, but you've got a DMR number, just go to radioid.net and register for NXDN. And I'll put the link in the description. I have made a video doing that as well. And um, so you do need a ham radio license. And you know, create yourself an account with them as well and log in. Now over to the code plug. Let me show you this first, okay? You'll need to create a channel. So it's very similar to DMR, but different because it's NXDN. So go to the top and I'll take you to my channel first. Let's just make sure you can see this. So we're going to go in uh, to the channel. Uh, so the one that's working for me right now is this one here called 10922 which i think links across to cq uk so we'll double click and we're doing it with a hotspot at the moment um repeater would just mean you just need to put in your shift i would say for the repeater so here's the the channel you put in your the name and i've put in nxdm 10922 obviously the name doesn't set anything up it's just so you can find it then the frequency of the hotspot mine is 431550 here on receive and transmit you'll see it there then digital, then set your power, okay? Digital and power. Uh, nothing else there. The middle one is, uh, I although I have uh, I have selected, let's just double check, yeah, uh, the contact 10922 here, which is in my list, and radio ID, I'll show you where you put that in a sec. Um, regarding the settings of the channel, I've got RAN encode here, number one ran here number one and, and I, this was the crucial thing see it says operational signal i had to select nxd nxdn id if i didn't do that it didn't work and yeah that makes sense now but it took me a while to find it and uh, you do have to select the nxdn contact list I'll show you that in a minute. So I think that's everything there. And I did tick this thing here about sending talk alias um, as well. Um, so I may as well. So that's all good. Once you've created the channel, click OK. Go to a zone on the left, the zone, uh, which is basically the group of channels. And just make sure you've uh, put that into a zone. I called the zone NXDN. Um, normally I'd have lots of zones here, but I've kept it simple so you can see it. So NXDN is basically a group. All your channels are on your left, okay? When I say group, NXDN is a, a bucket of channels, a group of channels. On the left is every channel in the radio, and as you can see, I've only added two, um, uh, or five. And then you just put the NXDN ones into your group called NXDN, or your zone called NXDN, so you can find it. So then on your radio, you'd be selecting menu, you'd go menu, and then you'd go zone, and then you'd select that. You know that group and that's where your channels are you can see that we're on nxdn now and they're chatting away nicely so you've created that so on the left here just scroll down you need to go to nxdn settings here see it and we're going to double click nxdn settings and this is the window now put in what you this is what i've put in i'm not saying i'm right but my NXDN ID is 2311. I might have gone overkill on this. And so I put in 2311, base ID, I've just put that again. Um, alias name there. And I don't think this made any difference, this line, this where it says 6500. Group ID though, I have put that in there. On the right here, I've, put, I've turned on NX, NX monitor to on. NX monitor to ran, ran. I've just got any here at the moment. So this is what I did here, okay? And then if we just go back to, let's just go to one at a time. I didn't put anything in encryption. Message, I haven't done anything there. Settings you just saw, receive group. 
Just click OK a minute. There's received group list. I did go into group list and just send in any any hot any um hot talk talk group numbers into it. But I don't think I actually needed to, but I have done that. Okay, um, just to make sure. And if we go back up to digital ID, we've got master here. That's more for DMR. Radio ID. That's more for DMR. So I can just put my ID in there, can't I? Uh, two, three, four, one, four, three, seven, a name. Um, this is, I don't think this would make any difference. So that's about it, really. You've seen my channel settings. That was the crucial thing. Now you do have to, this thing is important. You have to put, make the radio go into NXDM models. Even when you, even when you put in, uh, everything and send it to the radio. It doesn't seem to be putting the radio into NXDN mode. Uh, maybe you can set that up in the code plug, but this is what I did. I just went menu, um, down to settings, uh, radio set. And I went up until I saw other function, other function, select, and then that number, I went up because it's quicker. It's 32 things in the list. I went up and I selected protocol and then NXDN. And you, at the moment, I'm doing that every time. Now, I got a feeling that you'll be able to uh, set that up in the code plug. But once you do that, then you see an NX appear. So if I just unplug my hotspot now, I am going to show you. Actually, let me show you my hotspot settings before I unplug it. Uh, let me just see if I can show you that quickly. Uh, one sec. It's just a normal hotspot. I've got the flashy ones as well, but it's just a normal hotspot. It actually says NXDN on the front there. Someone's talking. Okay, so let's um, switch to my hotspot dashboard. Now this is my hotspot, hotspot dashboard. Someone's chatting now. Um, I'm on 10922. The, the another popular one is 6000. Six five three zeros. But anyway, configuration. You can see here at the bottom here. I'm connected to NXDN TG one zero nine two two. Yeah. Uh, so just go configuration like so, and scrolling down, just turn on NXDN mode. When you do that, you need to put in your NXDN ID, which mine is two three one one. You're going to look yours up location and all that you don't actually have to do any of that and then look the startup host here so that's what it's going to boot up at um at the moment when you're in nxdm mode because it's there but look there's a whole list and you can search as well and a lot of these nxdms are cross linking then we've got nxdm ran okay which is one and uh, i think that's it really um, and then dashboard and it just starts to work the main thing that I learned the biggest mistake I made struggling was when I did the channel I'll just go back here make sure you can see it uh, was this one here optional signaling NX ID that was really the crucial one so I go back to a previous channel where it wouldn't work look optional signaling is off and uh, so I just go on but to me that was the crucial one Okay, I'm just looking at anything else. And then the RAN code needs to match. RAN is like CTCSS. And I'll just do this one here. Uh, the RAN optional, there it is, on. And then, of course, selecting in this one here where it says NXDN QQ, selecting a, a contact. Now, you can import contacts as well. I didn't find that hard. Um, Radio ID had a whole CSV file that you could export uh, your contacts as well. Um, so when I did that as a live map there now as well. So to, to import the contacts, once you've got the CSV file, and I put it in my on my in my um, Facebook page, you just go to just the usual import. Like so, where is it? Tool, import, click OK. You get this window appear. Well, you import everything really. And down here along the bottom, you've got digital contact list here. Double click that, select the NXDN contact list. So this way you're gonna see all the call signs on screen, import it and then write it to the radio. 
So hopefully I haven't missed anything too much out here. It's all there. And it took me a while to get it going. And then you can have some nice NXDN contacts. And I actually spoke to someone earlier on um, on an ICOM radio. And I wonder if um, if Yesu radios have, have NXDN radio. Can't see any obvious ones. But RadioID.net is your friend here for downloading look, DMR data. Once you get into it and you can start... Uh, and join it and become part. It's free at first anyway, it's free. You can download CSV files and all that. And uh, let's see if, um, just briefly, if we, there's the radio now. Is anyone talking? No. So if I just quickly key and uh, it's moving me out of the way, you'll just see what happens. Like so, here it goes. M0 FXB, just an audio test, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. You can see I'm transmitting on talk group 10922 and it's showing up on the dashboard. And there are, you can monitor this. There you go, that's David who spoke to me earlier. So let's just say hi. I'm not sure if you can hear him. Yeah, hi David. Yeah, I got it working in the end. Uh, there's a little box you have to select to use NXDN ID just underneath, uh, let me look at the window again, but just underneath where you put the contact in, you select the contact, I'm on 10922, it just says use NXDN ID. So, uh, back like so. Yeah, the so when you're coming through, you can give you There, look. Bye for now. When you're through, we've, uh, your NXDN, uh, not your NXDN, but your uh, username and call sign. Whereas I'm on the, as I say, I'm using it by Blue TV and mine don't come in. So it just goes that coming in by a radio could be completely different to coming in by uh, some other device. Yeah, definitely. Bye for now, 7 3.